Let's break this down a bit. She was caught with THC pens and she was charged with criminal intent and drug smuggling. Now, if you think this was her first time smuggling those pens through the airport, you're naive. Come on now, let's, let's use some common sense. If I get pulled over speeding, nine times out of 10, that wasn't my first time speeding. If I get caught stealing, nine times out of 10, that wasn't my first time stealing. I just got caught that time. Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with your guy, SD Booker. Thanks for joining me. Hit that like button before we get started. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Also, share the content. Also, go to a toasttothemen.com and check out what we got for you. So, Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner, WNBA All Star, uh, two time Defensive Player of the Year. I believe she's a five time uh, All Star and uh, one of the elite players in the WNBA. She was detained in Russia uh, for over five months for uh, an accusation of drug smuggling with criminal intent. Just recently, she was sentenced to nine and a half years in a Russian jail. I think they call them colonies, but basically she's in she's in prison in Russia. And there's been people on both sides of this. Uh, I really hadn't seen anybody or heard of anybody that's on the fence. You either think it was justified or you got people who think it was unjustified. I lean towards, not only lean towards, I stand on the side that it was justified. The reason being, this is Russian law. It's not, a, this is not American law. This is Russian law. You have to abide by the rules and the bylaws of Russia, period. This is Russian law. And for Americans to say this is unjustified, that she should be free, that this is ridiculous, shows the arrogance of us, shows how spoiled we are and how self-entitled we are. Think about it. If this had happened on American soil, with the Russian, Russia would not be having an outcry. Russians would not have an outcry at all, at all. This happens all the time where foreigners are jailed in American jails for violating the law. Whether it's, it's weed, cannabis, THC, pens, uh, espionage, wh whatever the case may be, all kinds of stuff murder, theft, we have foreigners, including Russians, who are in American jails. And you don't see Russians complaining. You don't see on the news their government complaining, their, their celebrities complaining, their, their, the public complaining. You don't see that. You'll never see it because they understand this is American soil and you have to abide by American law. But something with Americans, I ain't ain't something, it's our arrogance. And we're very spoiled, very self-entitled, and we don't believe that we have to follow the rules, even if we're in another country. It's amazing, man. It's just amazing. Um, and if we don't change that uh, by the masses, because everyone's not going to think the same. But if this isn't part of our fabric to be uh, accountable, man, that's going to be our downfall as a people, as a nation. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing how self-entitled we are, how, how spoiled we are. And I hear people saying, well, Trump, uh, got ASAP Rocky out of a sweetened jail and, and ASAP was accused of assault. Now, 
this is like comparing oranges and apples with Russia and Sweden. Uh, Sweden is not the powerhouse or the force that Russia is. Totally different. So Trump was able to put some pressure on Sweden, uh, basically bullying them and have a shot rocket come on home. Russia's a different beast. You can't bully Russia. You just can't. <laughs> you, you know, it's just not going to happen. Um, so is this a political move by P P Putin? Maybe, but by law, by Russia law, Russian law that she could have gotten up to 10 years. Now, let's break this down a bit. She was caught with THC pens and she was charged with criminal intent and drug smuggling. Now, if you think this was her first time smuggling those pens through the airport, you're naive. Come on now. Let's, let's use some common sense. If I get pulled over speeding, nine times out of ten, that wasn't my first time speeding. If I get caught stealing, nine times out of ten, that wasn't my first time stealing. I just got caught that time. It's rare to get caught the first time. It's rare. Just think about it. So she's had a sense of entitlement. Maybe because of her elite status, her elite skill set. She is a talented basketball player. And when these basketball players go overseas across the water, man, they get treated like royalty. Whether in China, Australia, Austria, uh, uh, Greece, Russia, wherever, man, they get treated like royalty. She actually makes more money in Russia as a basketball player than she does in America. Oh, that should tell you a lot. So, did she have a sense of entitlement? Only she can answer that. But I, I think so. Because of her elite status, of her skill set. She also probably had a sense of entitlement because of her gender. Although she identifies as a gay woman. And she has a whole wife. She has a wife. Uh, but even gay women, lesbian women, will play that female card. Oh, they, they will play that feminine card uh, when they need to. I know firsthand. They will. They'll play it when they need to. Uh, they know how to turn it on when they need to. And they just that's just how it is, man. Females don't have the same accountability as men do. I have to be accountable with how I act. If I'm in Walmart, I was telling another, a guy the other day, man, just comparing, like, accountability. If I'm in Walmart acting a fool, being belligerent, loud, threatening people, more than likely, somebody's going to try to take me out. Or a few guys are going to try to take me out. The police would definitely be called. Definitely. Not so with women. Not automatically. You know, they get a lot of breaks, man, for outbursts, for disrespect. Uh, and... That is to their detriment a lot of times. That hinders them because they have this sense of entitlement. They're not held accountable to a standard. I don't know about to the same standard as men, but we got to raise the bar. We got to raise the standard of accountability when it comes to female. I don't care if you're gay or straight. Got to raise the accountability or stuff like this happens. This is not our first time. It's not. It's not, man. And, and most men would not do what she did. Most men. Now, I just saw that Iman Schrumper uh, just got caught with uh, a few bullets and some weed going through a Texas airport. But if you watch and listen to this brother, it wouldn't surprise you. If you listen to the way he thinks, his logic, that wouldn't surprise you that he got caught up like that. But I'm saying most brothers know how to move around and know what comes with violating the law we don't expect breaks we do not expect breaks we know what comes with it and so women gay or straight got to have that same understanding or it's going to be to their detriment i promise you it will man i hear a lot of people saying 
Well, if it was Steph Curry, if it was LeBron James, she would have been out. It wouldn't have gone this far. Not necessarily so. You know, let's play devil's advocate. Let's be objective. If I'm having political contention with America as Russia, and hey man, I got I got an ace. You know, I got a trump card. No pun intended. I got a LeBron James. And we're in political beef. I have more leverage having a LeBron James or Steph Curry over, you know, compared to a, a Brittany Griner. A lot of you guys or gals didn't even know how Brittany Griner looked. Hadn't even heard of her name. Now, I'd heard of her name, but I really didn't know how she looked. If you told me to pick her out of a lineup before all this, I couldn't pick her out of a lineup. But I did recognize the name. But, you know, I'm from a different generation. So, you know, she's a bit younger than me, too. So I can pick out a Leslie, uh, Lisa Leslie, you know, a Cooper, you know, Sh Cheryl, you know, Swoops, th those types. That's my generation. So, you know, that may have something to do with it, too. Uh, but a lot of us didn't even know who she was. So I can't say LeBron would have been out by now. If I'm Putin, I'm using that as leverage. I have more leverage having a LeBron James. I have more leverage having a Steph Curry detained in Russia. I'm going to use that to my advantage. You know, so I can't just say they would have been out. That's not necessarily true. Also, LeBron James and Steph Curry would never do what she did because although they're rich, they're famous, they are an elite talent. They know as men and as black men, you don't get no passes. You got to abide by the law. They know this. And LeBron is a billionaire, and I guarantee he wouldn't do what she did. I guarantee it. For one, he has too much to lose. He'd be too foolish to do it. For two, you know, he just knows it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And that should have been her mindset. It's not worth it. Now, I hear also, I also hear people saying, okay, let's do a swap. Convict for convict. Detainee for detainee. So Russia says, okay, we'll give you Brittany Griner if you give us arms dealer, the merchant of death, Victor Bout. Brittany Griner for Victor Bout. Now, Victor Bout, the merchant of death, is an arms dealer. And some say he's a spy. He's jailed on American soil. And this guy has such an impact. Russia would say he had a positive impact. America would say he had a negative impact. He had an impact, a powerful impact. So much uh, that they made a movie loosely based off of his life. You know, they have to say loosely based to avoid paying the man. But, uh, you know, they, they made a movie about him in 2005. So this is the impact he made. And Nicolas Cage played this brother. So this is the impact he made. Brittany Griner, for better or for worse, has not made an impact like that. So it's not an even swap. And I think America would be showing a great, great weakness and vulnerability by swapping Victor Bout for Brittany Griner. That's not an even swap, uh, swap, it's not. And I'm just keeping out emotion, I'm being logical, I'm using common sense. Listen, if it was me, the current me in her shoes, it wouldn't be an even swap. I haven't had the impact better or for worse on society to say it's an even swap. Yes, my family would want me to come home. My friends, my kids would want me to come home if I was in her shoes. But SD, as of now, has not had the impact equivalent to the impact Victor Bout has had, for better or for worse. And that's what it's all about, your impact. We got to take out emotion and say, is this logical? If they did that swap, it would just be for PR and pressure 
for from communities you know but it's not an even swap an arms dealer an international arms dealer and, and, and probably a spy for Brittany Griner no no I think you know the nine years was fair because common sense would say like I said this wasn't her first time her intent was criminal she was smuggling and for her to say she didn't know I just don't buy it I don't buy it and we just got to be accountable man we got to be accountable accountable for what we do our actions uh, especially especially if you're in a different country I don't care what your status is how elite you are man you got to be accountable for what you do and so uh, I think she'll be all right you know will she get in any scuffles maybe maybe not I don't know but uh, she'll be a bigger star once she's out guarantee you she'll make more money that first year she's out then she would have made her entire career free I guarantee you oh yeah and she's gonna have a bigger impact on society she's gonna be in position to have a bigger impact when she gets out she's gonna be more focused more driven and if she didn't know her purpose in life her mission in life I guarantee once she's released she'll know it then I guarantee so it could be a blessing in disguise now do I wish GL on her no I don't wish it but I understand it I think the sentencing was fair you know uh, is she a threat to society no you know the only people I think I would wish jail upon are people who are a threat to society and I don't think she's a threat to society but she did violate Russian law it is what it is so uh, she gets no pass well, that's what that is so let me know what you guys think in the comments as always from me to you love peace